Thank you. Thank you, Arm, for this terrific meeting. It's a pleasure for me to be here once again to present the company and uh, the important achievement that we were able to obtain in the last uh, 12 months. So for those of you who don't know Molmed, we are an Italian listed biotech company focusing on cell engine therapy. We have been around for almost 20 years now. We have been very resilient to the up and down of this field. We have two manufacturing facilities that I will cover in a, in a couple of minutes. We are almost 200 people with over 150 scientists working in R&D and operation. We, have, uh, we are the manufacturer of, at the moment, the only two ex vivo gene therapy approved in Europe, namely Streamvelis and Zalmoxis. We also have a quite strong IP base of 12 patent families and almost 250 patents covering our products and technology. And as you can see in this slide, we also have a quite wide network of partners. As other company in this field, we have a dual business model, so uh, we have our, our R&D and our pipeline, but aside to that, we also have um, a quite strong CDMO business that allows not only to finance the uh, R&D part, but also to remain at the cutting edge in this rapidly evolving field. So starting with the CMO part, you can see here a list of our current customers with GSK being by far the largest. We uh, were able last year to expand the collaboration to a 48 million minimum guarantee collaboration. Now, uh, as you may be aware, GSK is exiting the uh, rare disease space, so we will then uh, discuss with them and to whoever is taking over that business to ensure continuity of, uh, of those assets. The second important partner is the Teleton Tijet. We have been working with them for almost uh, the, the, very, the 20 years of our history. Now we are uh, working with them on the uh, four indications that are part of the option with GSK. Uh, last year we were able to add Genenta, that is another Italian startup founded by Luigi Naldini that will speak uh, here on, on Friday. Uh, the company is, uh, has a leading program in, uh, in oncology and has already uh, an agreement with Amgen. But this year, uh, we were able to increase our customer list by uh, the last two uh, important companies. Rocket Pharma is a New York-based uh, biotech working on rare disease, and uh, you may have read their recent uh, M&A with, uh, with Inotech. The leading program where we are collaborating is on Fanconi anemia. And finally, in July, we also uh, signed an agreement for development and manufacturing of vectors and cells with, uh, with selectives for their UCRT programs. As I just mentioned, we have these two GMP facilities for combined uh, over 30 grade B and C suites, uh, 5,000 square meters, that translates in roughly 50,000 square feet. The old facility in the DBIT facility has been authorized for clinical programs in 2003 and for commercial manufacturing of uh, Streamvedis and Zalmoxis in 2015 whereas the new facility that is uh, um, almost three times as large is, uh, has been authorized so far for the clinical manufacturing of, uh, of Zalmoxis. Just the final slide on the CMO part with the revenues. You can see our top line increase year over year almost 50%. This year, we are pretty much in line with last year, uh, slightly growing. This is almost due to the uh, saturation of our first facility, and uh, uh, starting next year with the gradual authorization of the Bresso facility and the kick-in of this new collaboration, we will uh, hopefully experience some new growth to past levels. Now, moving to uh, the R&D part, we have basically three projects in our pipeline. Uh, two of them are in the cell engine space, that are the one that I will cover today. The third one is a recombinant protein that I will just not discuss that, uh, discuss that today. So the first one is Zalmoxis. It, is, uh, it has been approved in Europe last year. Uh, the mechanism of action is very similar to what has been presented uh, earlier uh, by another company. So in the context of, uh, of uh, high-risk uh, hematological malignancies, uh, the patient either finds a fully matched HLA donor in the family or in the registry. 
Uh, if that is not the case, then he's left with a haploidentical uh, transplantation, meaning that uh, the HLA matching is only partial. In that case, there is a high risk of uh, uh, Graves Sous disease. And in order to prevent that, our approach is to insert a suicide gene, in this case is HSVTK, in the T cells uh, from the donor that they administer to the patient. This uh, allows to preserve the graft versus infection and graft versus leukemia triggered by the T cells, polyclonal T cells, whereas we, are, we can protect from the graft versus source disease that is a, a lethal side effect in, in this kind of approach. As you can see here, this translates in a very uh, strong clinical effects, and these results were the one that uh, uh, so by the EMA for granting us the, the approval. In particular, there is a, a very strong uh, improvement in no relapse mortality that is uh, uh, dropping from 46 to 20 percent. That will also translate in overall survival that increase uh, from 34 percent to 51 percent, and almost the abutment of chronic GVHD that is the one of uh, uh, the uh, most economic impact in, uh, in this kind of uh, therapy. On the other side, on the safety side, uh, every single patient that developed uh, Graves Sous disease were cured by activating the suicide machinery uh, with an average uh, response uh, uh, time of 12 days. The, the important achievement that we realized this year were uh, are represented in this slide. So we were able to sign three commercial agreements uh, in chronological order in quarter one with Megafarm for Israel in quarter two with TTY Biofarm for as a Pacific region uh, for up to 13.5 million in upfront milestone and sales milestone with double digit royalties linked to uh, the reimbursed price. And finally, at the beginning of quarter three, we don't pay pharmaceutical. That is uh, an Italian multinational company. We give them the rights for Europe with an option for uh, Switzerland, um, Australia and Turkey. The overall deal value is up to uh, 43.5 million in upfront sales milestone and uh, development milestone, plus royalties included in the transfer price that is once again linked to the reimbursed price. We started a couple of years ago also the market access activities that we have been uh, discussing uh, very actively over this meeting. Um, we uh, are still doing the uh, reimbursement and take responsibility for Italy, whereas uh, Dompe will take the responsibility for all the remaining European 28 countries. In Italy, we presented the dossier in December last year. We basically uh, have uh, an ongoing discussion for the last uh, eight, ten months uh, for, with the first step with the Italian authorities, that is the uh, technical scientific committee, and uh, a few weeks ago we moved to the second step, second and final step with the pricing and reimbursement agency. Moving to the second asset is a CAR T. Our our target is CD44 V6. That is a target widely expressed on both hematological and solid tumors. It is being clinically validated by a monoclonal antibody. Uh, the side effect of this target is that it has a low expression also on keratinocytes and, and the skin. So in order to, uh, we were able to demonstrate that uh, rather than the, what was observed using the monoclonal antibody, if you use a, a, a cells like, like in this case, uh, those cells do not trigger any toxicity to the skin. But on top of that, we also added the, the once again the uh, suicide gene HSVTK in order to uh, cure potential of, uh, of target effect as well as cytokine release syndrome or other on target effects. Now, what we are doing with this asset is to, uh, we won a European grant worth uh, six million together with other 11 clinical centers financing a phase one, two on uh, liquid tumors that is uh, due to start at the very end of 2018. At the same time, we have been working in, in our labs to demonstrate the efficacy also on solid tumors, and uh, here presented are one of those preclinical results. As you can see here, both by the tumor size and, and the histogram, 
uh, you can really appreciate the important response, uh, uh, very significant, although uh, the magnitude of this response was uh, uh, less impressive than was uh, observed in, uh, in liquid tumors. But at the end of the day, this is due to uh, the, what, what happens inside the tumor. So if you look at the left-hand side, you can appreciate that in the control arm, 100% uh, of the tumor mass is really made up by the green uh, tumor cells, whereas in the treated arm, you can see that uh, uh, more than 50% of the tumor mass is actually made up by infiltrated car positive cells with the, a component uh, of, uh, of tumor uh, less represented. Now, with the our plan also in, in this case with solid tumor is to complete the preclinical, um, the preclinical evaluation of efficacy in different tumor models. And once we get the first proof of concept in the liquid model, we will also start um, a trial also on, on solid tumors. So once again, uh, just summarizing achievement on 2017 and plan of 2018, on the CDMO side, we were able to sign two important agreements with Rocket and Selectis. Uh, we have a gradual authorization of the new facility for the third party businesses, as well as we stay uh, in the, uh, on the look for what happens to the GSK asset and their uh, exiting the business. On the pipeline, we now are, have a commercial partner in all the territories that can be commercialized with just the European authorization. We are finalizing pricing and reimbursement, so hopefully by Q1, Q2 next year, we will have a first stream of revenues deriving from Zalmoxis. At the same time, at the very end of next year, Q1, 18, 19, we will also see the first demand of the, uh, our car team. So that's all. Uh, thanks a lot for, uh, for your attention, and I'll take the question right after the meeting.